I can't believe that I am making this video. YouTube, what is up? It is Jared Stodd here back with a brand new video. And well, I haven't posted it in about three or four weeks because well, as you guys know, my last eye incident was absolutely terrible. So a little over one month ago, my eyeball was actually like bruised around my entire real eye. And then a few days after that, I started to lose the vision in my eye, which is a very big deal because I don't have another eyeball because I lost this this eye to cancer when I was only two years old. And well, my whole life I have been scared that I would lose my other eyeball and I would not know what to do with zero eyes. And well, one month ago, I had the biggest scare of my life because after my eyeball randomly got bruised, I started to lose my entire vision. Now, just when I thought that my eyeball couldn't get any worse because I lost my entire vision, my vision started to get worse and worse and worse. And well, after that, my eyeball got completely covered in blood. Like literally my entire eyeball was bloodshot. I had blood all over my eye and my eyeball was like that for almost one entire month. Now that month that my eyeball was completely covered in blood and bloodshot, I also had terrible vision. And well, I did not know what was going on. The doctors did not know what was going on with my eyeball either. And literally it was an entire mystery to everyone. And that is what made it so scary because no one had any idea what was going on with my eyeball. They didn't know why I was losing my vision, why my eyeball was completely covered in blood. And well, I am so, so thankful that my eyeball finally started to get better. But my eyeball just didn't get better overnight. It has taken the past month for my eyeball to get slowly better over time. And I think after one and a half months of this entire crazy eyeball situation, I am finally back to 100% health of my real and only eyeball. There's finally now no blood or anything. Well, I think. Let's just take a look here and see if there's actually anything left on the eyeball. It doesn't look like it, it looks pretty good. So finally, I have my real eyeball back with no blood or anything. Nobody will ask me any questions now and they see me on the side of the street when I have no eye. And then my other eye is covered in blood. And well, the blood really did not scare me as much as my vision because my entire vision was blurry the entire time. And well, that is what made me the most scared. And I can finally say proudly today, that all of my vision is back in my good eyeball and the Jared Stodd is back. However, that entire situation was probably the scariest thing that I've ever faced in my life besides going through cancer with this eyeball. And well, when it all started, my eyeball looked like this when I had the bruise on my eye. And then shortly after I had the bruise on my eyeball, my eyeball started to lose vision, which was actually the most insane thing ever. I never in a million years would think that would happen. And then when I thought things could never get worse, my eyeball started to get covered in blood. Like it was literally bloodshot and well, it didn't end there. It got worse. Like the blood literally got worse in the eyeball. And then from there, I just kind of had a hope and a dream and had a pray that my eyeball would slowly get better. And then it slowly started to get better, thankfully. And well, now about one month later, I am back and my eyeball is back to 100% healthy. But uh, not this eyeball though. <laughs> this eyeball is gone forever. There is literally zero hope that I ever get this eyeball back or anything, but that is okay. The only thing that I can do with this eyeball that is missing right here is to wear my prosthetic eyeball. And this is a newer prosthetic eyeball that I just got. This is a $10,000 fake eyeball, the most expensive eye that I have in my collection. And it makes it look like I actually have two eyeballs. So here's my real eye, here's my fake eye. They actually look pretty dang similar. And with this eyeball, it even moves around a little bit, which is absolutely insane. So honestly, recently I've been wearing this eye too, just because like this eye was so bad, I tried to hide the fact that I had one eye and then I tried to hide the fact that my real eye was bad. So I've been wearing this fake eyeball a lot, but it is time to take this eyeball back out now that my one eyeball is healthy and embrace who I truly am because being different is freaking awesome. And well, it gets me thinking. I should probably get a new custom eyeball. And I know you guys think that I already have a lot of eyeballs which I do. So here is my collection of eyes. I literally have over 100 different eyeballs in my collection. And over here are all of my crazy custom eyeballs. And these are the ones that I want to get more of. So now that my real eye is healed all the way, I can go back to having one eyeball and wearing all these crazy. 
Yo, did you just see that? My spiked eyeball came out. But guys, I'm gonna start wearing all of my crazy custom eyeballs again now that my eyeball is completely healed. Maybe not this one because, well, it is dangerous. It has a spike on it and um, it just fell out. But let me show you the eyeball that I have been wearing the most. And a lot of you guys don't even know that I have this eyeball, but this eyeball is probably the craziest eyeball in the entire world for anybody with fake eyeballs. And it is this one on the end right here. And what this eyeball is, is the world's first color changing eyeball to ever exist. Nobody really even knows that I have this eyeball. However, when I wear this thing, it just looks like an ordinary eyeball that is like realistic just with the color of gray. But in reality, whenever I go outside and stare into the sun with this eyeball, it changes to the color purple, making it the world's first UV color changing prosthetic eyeball. That is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna go outside right now and show you guys because this thing is crazy. All right guys, so we are going outside right now and my eyeball is closed because the eyeball is still gray however when I look into the Sun like right now take a look at this thing the eyeball is changing to the color purple which is absolutely insane the eyeball is now purple and then when I go back inside like right now the eyeball is still a little bit purple and then as I come back in here the eyeball is still purple and now it's going back to gray. Do you see that? Like the eyeball literally just changed colors. So this is the prosthetic eye that I've been wearing the most recently and well, now that I've just shown you guys that, let me know in the comments what other crazy ideas you guys have for fake eyeballs, like one that has a laser on it or one that can record something crazy and we're gonna try to make literally the craziest fake eyeball to ever exist. But anyways guys, I just wanted to give you guys a life update because well, the last incident with my eyeball, almost losing my real eyeball, is the scariest thing I've ever gone through in my entire life. And I haven't posted in a few weeks to allow my eyeball to recover. And well, just for me to get back on track. And now it is time that I, Jared Stodd, will get back to my regular YouTube videos, not any of the scary incident stuff with my eyeball. Some real good Jared Stodd videos. It has been a long time since I've had a lot of fun making a video for you guys. Because well, the last eyeball incident and my sickness earlier this year when I almost died was not good on me. So far, 2024 has been awesome awful for my health, but my eyeball is back to normal. I am back to normal. And now we're gonna get back to the real Jared Stodd YouTube videos. So I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support, all the prayers and all the comments going through this crazy eyeball incident time. You guys meant the world to me. You guys saved me every single day. And well, I'm so happy to finally be back to full health. And with that being said, guys, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because we're almost at 10 million subscribers. And well, with that being said, drop a like. And I will see you guys in a couple of days with a brand new fire Jared Stodd YouTube video. Peace.